What's going on, everybody? So, Lexington Card Show, end of April 2023. I know there wasn't much footage because I didn't have a chance to really walk around until the end of the show. For myself, I was very, very busy. The two tables, I actually did two tables, brought a ton of value box cards with me. And from what a lot of people told me, it was the best thing of the show. Uh, a lot of guys sitting there digging through, um, grabbing the stuff out for either eBay or they resell at tables, you know, and stuff like that there. But very, very busy with selling. And it just wasn't just the value boxes. Uh, I want to say I moved just out of my two displays. I want to say numbers either 15 or 16 cards itself. Nothing. Very, very expensive sold. I didn't buy nothing. And, uh, you know, no real due fault to the show itself. I didn't get to walk around until like, oh, I bet you it was like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And probably only a third of the dealers were left there. So I, I didn't really get to see a whole lot um, of cards out there. And it's just, you know me, I have to see stuff I really, really want to get. Or I'd be like, hey, I could grade this. It should get a 10. I'm going to make some money. Take the profit, put it towards, you know, a PC item down the road or whatever it may be. I will say, though, one gentleman did get a card stolen out there, a dealer. And I know it's going to get asked. No, he did not have display cases. It was just laid on a table. And it was a Jalen Hurts rookie auto. And I can't remember if it was Phoenix or something. Maybe XR. I, just remember, I think the serial number was 33 out of 50. But... I know they didn't find it at the show. They were out there hunting to see where it went and everything like that. I did have probably, I would say, 12 to 15 people saying they watched the YouTube channel. Thank you guys for stopping by. I appreciate it. I know a couple of people got uh, bought some purchases off me. I always try, if you say you watch the YouTube channel, try to give a little bit better of a deal out on too because you guys support me here on YouTube and everything. But like I said, overall, for me, it was very, very busy there. I heard some dealers say they didn't sell nothing, et cetera, et cetera, just like you do at every show. Um, I can't really talk about card prices because I didn't walk around. I did ask a lot of the guys coming around if they seen anything crazy day in the tables. You know, did you pick anything up? A lot of them didn't pick anything up at other tables. Um, a lot of the common things that I heard by just asking those questions at the table, because, you know, you got to watch all your stuff is that it was the same thing at, you know, most tables. Yeah, let's see here. I, I know the vintage guys, they told me a lot of the vintage has just been picked through and it just has not been restocked, so it's the same cars at every show. I also, like I said, a lot of stuff, just, there's just a ton of retail. There wasn't a whole lot of good autos out there. Um, if they were, they were like, you know, from guys that were way overproduced and just keep signing and signing and signing. But I understood what they were saying across the board. I mean, we talked to a lot of people. We talked about whatnot, breakers out there. Um, just some of the crazy stuff that's been going on in the hobby. So a lot of good talk. You know, you get to pick up different information about different sets and different things going on around. But really, really did enjoy the show. The next show that I will be present set up at will be the Derby City Card Show, which is in Louisville, Kentucky, June 3rd. If I can get to it, we will do a giveaway live at the show. You have to be present to win type deal. I am not shipping what I'm going to be giving away. Uh, this weekend, I will be going as a buyer to the Salem, Indiana Sports Card Show. If you guys just are interested or know where the area is or just curious... If you go on Instagram, just type in, I think it's Salem Sports Card Show or Salem Card Show. It'll pop up with all the stuff on it. Plus, it's on the Beckett Venue Manager I've seen as well, too. But he opens up at 9. I'm going to try to get about 8.30, 8.45, start ramsacking through everything early, seeing if I can find any different cards I just don't normally see laying around. Um, but, yeah, it's pretty much the plan coming up. Been a little bit busy getting PSA out, so... You know, with reviewing just not my own cards, other people's cards, it takes a good chunk of the time up, and then preparing the sheets, boxing it up, shipping it out, all the fun stuff. And plus, the Lexington card show was like, as soon as I got done with work Friday, I had to get everything done, loaded, into the car, priced, you know, stuff that's kind of current, the best I could. 
And then Saturday was just a long day. It was an hour and 35 minutes one way to the show. Got everything up in there, set up. Um, actually, a really quick setup. For some reason, it took me longer to tear down. I don't know why. But then an hour and a half home. Until I get home, I'm pretty exhausted by that time frame. And I just <laughs> I didn't want to do the videos <laughs> yet. So here it is Monday, and I'm just starting to work on a video. I know, slacking, slacking. But that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give a good shout out. I mean, Lexington had a really good show. I know some dealers just didn't show up. Don't know why. I mean, you want to get tables, show up. But definitely a very, very good crowd there. A lot of guys come around talking. Um, that's always it's just pleasant whenever you get to have people you get to interact with about sports cars. You can take yourself away from the everyday life drama of, you know, like going to work dogs kids whatever it may be out there you just kind of leave that little realm for a while you get like that little re-energization or whatever you want to call it out there until you have to drive home an hour and a half you're like dang it i'm getting old but other than that guys appreciate y'all watching the video sorry there wasn't much footage on to didn't buy anything but i at least wanted to give a little bit of the show to you guys if you're ever out that way it's always the last saturday in may it's usually pretty decent for crowd wise. And I did probably see 10 to 12 different dealers I've never seen before at any of these shows. So that's always good to see a different people popping in and setting up. All right, guys, I am out. I will catch you all next video.